Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we are in Proverbs chapter 11, just walking through the book of Proverbs, whatever time it's going to take. We're kind of hitting the passages that maybe have a new theme that we haven't touched on quite a bit as we've walked through these uh, weekly times of reflection. And uh, as I was looking at Proverbs 11:14, 14, the verse I'm going to read in just a moment, it struck me. I've been a pastor here at Shoreline Church, where I'm pastoring right now, for going into my 15th year. And I don't think I've made a single large and significant decision on my own. And you might think, well, wait, you're the senior pastor. You're supposed to make decisions. And, and that's true. But we also have a great executive team of our key leaders, and we have a great board, or we call our L team. And those people are part of every decision. We talk together, we pray together. Their insight gives me a perspective on the health of the whole life of the church. And so even though I could make unilateral decisions and even big decisions if I wanted to, I just don't. And instead of thinking, well, gosh, you're kind of cowardly. Why don't you step up and make decisions? I encourage you to listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. Here's what it says. For lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Now, the point being not just any old advisor. If you get an advisor who's a fool, they're going to send you on a foolish path. But any advisor who has wisdom is going to add to your wisdom. So listen to this passage one more time. For lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. So a couple of insights. First, you want a recipe for failure in life. Make every decision on your own. Believe that you're smart enough, that you know enough about pretty much everything to make your decisions. Or you can flip that upside down and say there's a recipe for success, a recipe for victory, and that is by saying, I want to get wise people around me. I want to ask for their input. I want to weigh in on it and let that shape how I see the world and let that shape the decisions I make. And I believe that this is true in the political arena, which seems to be where this particular passage is addressing things. In the political arena, getting good wisdom and advice from others is essential. Even people who don't always agree with you or see things the way you see things. Sometimes listening to someone who has a different perspective, you may not at the end of the day agree with them, but you have a fuller understanding of the conversation by listening to what they have to say. And so, if you have a lack of guidance in your life, plan on failure. If you want to see victory and things go the right direction, get advisors around you who are wise. So here's my encouragement. I suspect there are people around you who know you, who know a lot about you, hopefully who know Jesus and love Jesus and know the Word of God. Don't just go making all your life decisions on your own. That's not really the life of a grown-up. A wise grown-up person actually listens to other people, gets their input, and lets their wisdom add to your wisdom and kind of mix around with it and balance it out and supplement it and maybe even sometimes redirect you. But that overall process will make you wiser and lead you to victory and joy in your life. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, I pray for each person listening today. I pray for myself that you would surround us with people who have wisdom, that we would not only listen to what they have to say, but we would deliberate over that. We would, we would reflect on it. We would let it become part of who we are. And then we would make wiser decisions because we've listened to the input of advice from people who know you, who love you, who bring wisdom to the situation that we're in. So grant us wisdom as we seek to live the kind of lives that would honor you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you're part of Shoreline Church here in Monterey, I'd invite you to join us online or on campus this Sunday at 9 and 11. If you're part of another church, God bless you wherever you are. Be part of your church. Get people around you who have wisdom and learn from them. Have a great day.